just want to start off by saying one thing that we have to remember that we are here. I, I'm going to do my best to be loud. Maybe they can turn it up a bit. Um, we are here in support of creation and that what we feed grows. And when we fight, what we do is we fight. And we need to remember that and remember our language when we're doing these type of actions because we don't want to create more division. We want to create more unity. So I have a, a one inch space here that I can't cross. It's an imaginary line. Um, Quay. Nilta Liwis, Wanahamu Gasset. Then Najeo, Wanawapskek. Indo Nabamuk, Owasus. Nil Wanawapskek. Naga Gakabus. Nilta Baik. And Lita Hazium, I'm Dian. My name is Sherry Mitchell. I'm from the Penobscot Nation. Um, from the, my family is a Bear Clan from Penobscot and Crow Clan from the Passamaquoddy Tribe at Tabayak, and I'm happy to be here with you today. Before I begin my remarks, I'd like to take a moment and acknowledge the tribal people of this land, the Nipmoc, Wampanoag, Mohican, and Pequot, and I'd like to ask their ancestors for grace as I stand here and offer an opening prayer and then my statement on their lands. I'm just going to ask for uh, protection, for guidance, from the creator, from the ancestors of this land, and all of the elements. And that's what my prayer is going to be. Awajukamin, Kachiniwas, Wanahamukasit, Ukumi, Mozumus, Mchumiliwan, Nekwasketnik, Wujausin, Squabed, Nibe, Kachiwiliwan, Nidups, Nidabesks, now I'm going to begin uh, my comments. Thank you. We're here today to add our collective voices to the call for a more sane, equitable, and humane world. The COP21 Climate Accord discussions are now coming to an end, and once again we are left without any meaningful solutions. Instead, we are left with a reality that is even more troubling. As many of you know, indigenous rights were removed from the agreement. Shame. I agree. This is problematic for many reasons. Many of the untouched lands on this planet are the home of indigenous people. The removal of indigenous rights from these talks foretells a grim future, not only for indigenous people, but for all landholders around the world. Felix Cohen once said that indigenous people were the miner's canary and that the treatment of the indigenous people marks the shift from fresh air to poison gas in our political atmosphere. That quote is incredibly relevant to the situation that we are currently facing where lands across the planet are now being taken from all landholders for the benefit of the polluting industries. At COP21, World leaders have been contemplating two degrees of warming caused by carbon emissions. Though carbon emissions are important and planetary warming is of great concern, and uh, we can thank this beautiful day for planetary warming, this narrow focus is insufficient and it's a complete illusion. <laughs> the purpose of COP21 was not to work toward meaningful climate solutions. It was to allow world leaders to posture and promote a global market for carbon. Existing carbon credit programs are resulting in massive human rights violations against indigenous people. The removal of indigenous rights from the Paris talks is not surprising when you realize that these talks were not really about finding climate solutions, but rather about the promotion of the new carbon market. These discussions were about commodifying and putting a price on our air and selling off another vital element of our survival. We must recognize that the entire natural system is one life system, not a series of saleable, fragmented parts. No, thank you. The most destructive illusion held by humanity is the belief that everything is tied to an economic engine that has no heart, no compassion, and places no value on life. Today, we lack reliable leadership within our world governments. We have misplaced our trust in governmental leaders 
and the leaders are, of industry who are oftentimes one and the same. They have re repeatedly failed us by trying to remain their profits, economies, and their power over the people. The leaders meeting in Paris had a responsibility to create real solutions and to protect the future of all life. But we cannot leave this work entirely in their hands. We also carry the responsibility of healing and balancing the world. We must renew our connection to the sacred within ourselves, within our families, within our communities, and within our nations. We must begin to honor and respect one another and realize that we are them and they are us. And none of us can survive without clean air, clean water, and a clean earth. Yeah. Moving forward, we must commit ourselves to creating a path out of the current system by establishing localized water sovereignty, food sovereignty, energy sovereignty, and educational sovereignty. And we must stop the TPP in its tracks or all of the work that we've been doing will be for naught. I want to switch gears and end by sharing a brief story about a message that was delivered to a young tribal woman during ceremony. In that ceremony, she heard one of the ancestors speak to her. What he told her holds great importance for us all. What he said was this, we dreamed you into the future. When I heard this, I thought of my favorite quote by N. Scott Mamaday who said, we are what we imagine. Our very existence consists in our imagination of ourselves. Our best destiny is to imagine at least completely who and what and that we are. The greatest tragedy that can befall us is to go unimagined. Our ancestors, no matter where we came from, lived, died, and dreamed for us. They imagined us into being. They held our image in sacred space until we were able to walk into that space on our own as flesh and blood. Now we hold the right and the responsibility to imagine our future generations into being. The work that we are all doing is breathing life into future generations. Today, I ask only one thing of you. Never forget that you are the dream of the ancestors come to life, and that you are now responsible for dreaming future generations into being. Bring forward the truths and the dreams that live within you of a world where we exist in balanced harmony with one another and all life. Dream those dreams for yourself and then hold them in sacred space so that the next generation can walk into them as flesh and blood. Kachi Willie One in Alabama, thank you very much. Woo!